Hi everyone, it's Paula here with Grey Matters Blog, and I'm really excited to be bringing you another series of reviews about pencils. For those of you who don't know, I love all things stationery, but I have a particular place in my heart set aside specifically for pencils, and that's why I wanted to bring you guys reviews from pencils of pencils all around the world. So I'm going to be starting this review with my personal favorite pencil, and that is the Stadler Noraika 2014. In the United States, these can be found at the local Staples for the most part. Sometimes they're found online. I sharpened this bad boy with my Carl Angels um, 5 or my Carl CS8. As you can see, that nice sharp tip. And I can't wait to show you guys how it writes. This is one of my favorite pencils because of the fact that it writes so smoothly and buttery on all kinds of paper. The graphite for a number two pencil is really smooth and dark. And I just really like the way it looks even on, you know, loose leaf paper, computer paper, notebook paper. It really does just a great all around job. So it's one of my favorite everyday pencils. So to start, I'm going to be using this index card from Pen Plus Gear, which are found in 100 packs at your local Walmart. And then for the eraser test, I'm going to be basing it off of my personal three most carried erasers, which are the Uni Boxy, the Pentel High Polymer Eraser, this is a super mini version, and then my mini version of the Sakura Foam, which is like one of the holy grails in the pencil community. So let's get started. I just want to show you guys how this will write. So I don't know if I even hold my pen pencil correctly, but I will do my best. So as you can see while I'm writing, I know you can't really hear the feedback because that basically is why one of the things that I love about this pencil is that it's so smooth. And it just glides across the page. I didn't realize how hard it would be to talk and write at the same time. So here is going to be our eraser test. I'm just going to do one whole length of shading so you guys can see. The point holds up pretty nicely. I really like the point retention. And we'll do a quick smudge test at the bottom. Because I actually have really sweaty hands when I write. So smudging really occurs a lot for me. So let's put everything aside. I'm going to zoom into the frame for you so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. So here's our smudge test. I'm just going to take my finger and run it across. Not bad. And then I'm going to do the uniboxy first. So I'm just going to do a part right here. Nice. The Pentel High Polymer is next. So I'm going to do that right in the center. Also not bad. And then I'm, I'll do the fave, favorite, ever acclaimed Sakura Foam right here at the end. I do love this eraser. It's like one of my first ever holy grail erasers. So I'll label these for you at the bottom. So this is the boxy. This is the high polymer. I'm just going high poly. This is the sakura foam. And once again, this is the Stapler Noraika. 2014. And the fun thing is about the Stadlers is that there is also a, a 2015 and 2016, sometimes you get down to like a 2013 and a 2012, but I am finding that the 2014 still has the nicest formulation with regard to its graphite. The other thing that I really love about this pencil, and I'll show you as I zoom out, is that it is super minimalist looking. Um, I'm just going to fix these on the edge, sorry. It has a simple silver ferrule, a white eraser, and also has just a really nice matte black lacquer job that I really like. So finally at the end over here, I'll show you guys how it's on, on pencil eraser works. It's not my favorite eraser, it's not the best, but it's also not the worst. So I'll give you a close up of that. So you can see the smudge test actually looks, it almost didn't smudge at all, and that was after me freshly writing with like a sweaty palm. 
Here is the um, eraser testing. So here's the boxy, the high polymer, the sacro foam, and it erases really well actually. Um, the high poly kind of just leaves a little bit residual grayness. And finally, here is the writing. You can see that it's kind of dark and smooth. The point retention is really nice. Pretty much everything looks great. And I really, really don't know what else to tell you except I really love this pencil. So I hope that that gives you guys a lot of information about one little super cute matte pencil. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I promise I will think of a cuter sentence to write next time I test a pencil. But for now, it's me, Paula, on Grey Matters Blog, and thanks for watching. Bye!